ever pondered about your ancestral roots? Or perhaps you've taken interest in genealogy and want to trace your lineage back to North Carolina. This intriguing quest can offer profound insights into our past, revealing the untold stories of our ancestors. And if your roots trace back to North Carolina, you're in for an exciting journey. We'll delve into the history of this state, its first settlers, and the footprints they left behind. Embark on this journey with us as we delve into the fascinating world of genealogy research in North Carolina. To truly comprehend our ancestry, it's vital to grasp the migration patterns of our forebears. Now let's delve into the fascinating journey of our ancestors' migration throughout history until the late 1800s. Imagine a time when the world was a vast uncharted territory. Early settlers were drawn to North Carolina by the promise of a new life, rich in resources and opportunities. They arrived from Europe, primarily England, Scotland, and Ireland in the 17th century, marking the beginning of a significant wave of migration. Over the next hundred years, these settlers moved south and west within North Carolina. They were drawn by the fertile farmland and the prospect of a prosperous life. This internal movement resulted in a diverse mix of communities, each with its unique cultural and ancestral influences that continue to shape North Carolina today. The 18th and 19th centuries witnessed another considerable movement. Many North Carolinians moved westward enticed by the promise of fertile lands beyond the Appalachian Mountains. This westward expansion, often referred to as the Great Migration, saw families pack their lives into wagons and set off into the unknown, marking their paths with courage and resilience. Understanding these patterns is more than just a history lesson. It's a key to unlocking our past. When we know where our ancestors moved and why, we can start to piece together their lives. We can understand the decisions they made, the hardships they faced, and the triumphs they achieved. For instance, if you're researching an ancestor who lived in North Carolina in the 18th century, knowing about the westward expansion could help you track their journey and potentially locate additional records in states along their migration route. These migration patterns also help us see the bigger picture. They reveal the larger social and economic forces that shaped our ancestors' lives and ultimately our own. They tell a story of perseverance, determination, and the enduring human spirit to explore and adapt. So as we embark on our genealogical journey, let's keep in mind the paths our ancestors treaded. They ventured into the unknown, shaped new communities, and left a legacy that we continue to uncover today. Knowing these migration patterns is a crucial piece of the genealogy puzzle. In the digital age, a wealth of information is right at our fingertips. The world of genealogy is no exception. North Carolina, with its rich and diverse history, offers an array of online resources that can help you trace your family's roots back to the early settlers. One such resource is the North Carolina Digital Collections, a joint effort between the State Archives and the State Library of North Carolina. This site features over 20 collections, each containing a variety of historical and genealogical materials, from marriage and death records to war rosters and land grants. It's an excellent starting point for anyone looking to uncover their North Carolina ancestry. But don't stop there. The North Carolina GenWeb Project, part of the larger U.S. GenWeb Project, is another invaluable resource. This site provides free access to a vast array of county-specific data, including cemetery records, census transcriptions, and family histories. It's a grassroots effort with information provided by volunteers who share a passion for genealogy. For those seeking more in-depth information, the North Carolina State Government and Heritage Library's online catalog is a must visit. It offers access to a wealth of books, manuscripts, and government documents, many of which are digitally available. Now, while these resources are extensive, it's essential to use them effectively. Start by focusing on specific names, dates, and locations in your family history. Use these details as keywords when searching through databases. Be prepared to sift through a lot of data and keep meticulous records of your findings. Remember, genealogy is often a puzzle and every piece of information can help complete the picture. Don't forget to leverage the power of social media too. Sites like Ancestry.com's message boards or Facebook's genealogy groups 
can connect you with others researching the same surnames or regions. Their insights and discoveries could prove invaluable in your own research. And of course, don't overlook the many genealogical societies specific to North Carolina. These organizations often have online databases, digital publications, and forums where members can share information and advice. The internet can be a treasure trove of genealogical data if we know where to look. So, start exploring these resources and uncover the rich tapestry of your North Carolina heritage. While the internet is a great resource, nothing beats the authenticity of in-person research. Now let's delve into where one can conduct in-person genealogy research in North Carolina. First up, we have the State Archives of North Carolina, located in Raleigh. This place is a treasure trove of historical documents and records that date back to the 17th century. It's open from Tuesday to Saturday, with varying hours, so be sure to check their website before you visit. Next, we have the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Their Southern Historical Collection boasts over 5 million items that document the American South from the late 18th century to the present. The Louis Round Wilson Special Collections Library is another spot on campus where you can find family records. Both places usually operate from Monday to Friday, but it's always a good idea to confirm their hours online. Now let's head over to the East Carolina University in Greenville. Their Joiner Library hosts the North Carolina Collection, which comprises books, periodicals, government documents, and other materials that pertain to the state's history and culture. They also have a sizable collection of city directories and Sanborn maps, which can prove invaluable in tracing your ancestors' footsteps. Moving on, we have the Government and Heritage Library at the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. This library holds a vast array of genealogy resources, including family histories, county records, and cemetery surveys. It's open to the public six days a week, excluding Sundays. Lastly, there's the Forsyth County Public Library in Winston-Salem. Their North Carolina room is dedicated to local history and genealogy, offering resources like city directories, school yearbooks, newspapers, and more. They are open seven days a week, making it a convenient option for weekend researchers. These places can serve as a gold mine of information for dedicated genealogists. Now remember, each of these institutions has its own set of rules and regulations, so it's crucial to familiarize yourself with these before you go. Happy researching. Now that we've covered the basics, let's discuss some practical tips for your genealogy research. Genealogy research can be a fascinating journey into your family's past, but it can also be a complex process. Here are some practical tips to guide you in your North Carolina genealogy research. Firstly, always start with what you know. Gather as much information as you can from living relatives, family documents, and photos. These personal sources often provide a solid foundation for your research. Next, organization is key. As you gather information, ensure you keep meticulous records. Use a system that works for you, whether it's a traditional filing system or a digital one. This will save you time and prevent you from going over the same ground twice. Thirdly, remember the importance of primary sources. While online databases and secondary sources can provide a wealth of information, primary sources are the gold standard in genealogy. Birth, marriage, and death certificates, as well as census records and wills, provide the most accurate information. When using online resources, make sure to evaluate the reliability of your sources. Websites like Ancestry.com and FamilySearch.org are reputable, but always cross-reference information to ensure its accuracy. In addition, don't overlook the value of local resources. Libraries, county courthouses, and local genealogical societies often have unique records that aren't available online. In North Carolina, the state archives and the genealogy departments at universities like UNC Chapel Hill are invaluable repositories of information. Finally, practice patience. Genealogy research is often a matter of piecing together a puzzle, and sometimes it can take time to find the right piece. Don't get discouraged if you hit a roadblock. Instead, take a step back, reassess your information, and try a new approach. Remember, genealogy is more than just names and dates. It's about understanding the lives and experiences of your ancestors. So immerse yourself in the history of North Carolina, read about the periods they lived in, 
and try to understand the world from their perspective. With these tips in hand, you're ready to start your genealogy journey. Genealogy research is more than just tracing your lineage. It's about understanding your roots and the history that shaped your ancestors. Our journey through North Carolina's rich history has shed light on the early settlers and the migration patterns they followed, leading us to the late 1800s. With this knowledge, we can better appreciate the paths our ancestors tread and the decisions they made that eventually led to us. The digital revolution has brought a wealth of resources to our fingertips. Online platforms specific to North Carolina have made it easier than ever to delve into our family history from the comfort of our own homes. However, the physical archives and universities across the state still hold a trove of untapped information. Their doors are open to anyone eager to explore their ancestry in a more tactile way. Remember, genealogy research is a journey. It's about piecing together a puzzle that spans generations. It's about patience, curiosity, and a thirst for knowledge. But above all, it's about connection to our past, to our ancestors, and to ourselves. Navigating the complex web of our ancestry can be challenging, yet the rewards are immeasurable. The deeper we delve, the more we uncover, and the richer our understanding of our lineage becomes. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into North Carolina genealogy.